Hello everyone, welcome to my video. What I'd like to talk to, to you guys about today is uh, how to buy a computer in the year 2022. Um, so let's get started. First of all, I'd like to uh, start from a, a PDF guide that I created. In this PDF guide, it'll have the information and some suggestions for what you should do before you buy a computer. Um, I suggest using it before you buy a computer. Um, the link to this and other ap applicable information will be in the description. So let's get started. So first, first of all, who is this information for? Who is this document for? Or this video? It's for people who want to know a little bit more about computers, especially if this is going to be the first computer they buy. It's for beginners who don't have a computer. And I know one of the questions you're going to ask is, if the person doesn't have the computer, how are they going to research getting a computer, especially online? I'll go over that in a little bit later on in the video. It's also for people who need a, another computer, a second computer, for work, school, or entertainment. And it's for somebody who's buying, a, who may be considered buying a computer for someone else. An, uh, an older parent, a child, uh, another relative, anything like that. So, continuing on, let's also uh, go over a little bit about what a computer actually lit actually is right so these uh, there are three basic um, principles definitions if you will of what a computer actually is now a computer is actually more than the three things we're gonna go over but basically you will find this in just about any computer system you ever you run into alright so the first thing a computer does is it stores data files, folders, programs, okay? The second thing a computer does is it sends data. It'll send those files, those folders, or uh, some type of a program. It'll either email it, or you can make phone calls on it, or video chats, or print it. And the third thing that a computer does is Again, it could send and receive emails, phone calls, video calls, printing, um, files, folders, programs. So to go over it again, it, it um, stores data on a hard drive usually of some type. It sends data and it receives data, right? All these three things together is considered processing. That's what your computer is basically doing. This is processing the data using one of those three things. All right? So, as I said, those are the things that you want to consider. That's what actually basically what a computer does. Other than that, you can have a more advanced uh information and definition that's going to be completely and totally up to you so also let's go over the three or four main parts that a com that makes up a computer all right again these are not the only things that make up a computer system but they are some of the more basics and since this is basically a beginner's guide or a guide for people who are not really technically inclined uh, you'll find these four things uh, throughout most basic computers and especially computers that a consumer, an average consumer, would like to get. So first thing you want to consider is a CPU, which stands for a central processing unit. That's more or less the brains of the computer. And if you want a more in-depth de definition, I have included a link for this and all of the other definitions, right? So the next thing you want to consider is RAM, and that's uh, an acronym for Random Access Memory, right? And that's the system mem memory that you'll need for starting your computer and for running the programs and applications on your computer. 
as well as there is a link for uh, further in-depth definition if you want that. Third thing is storage. And in this case, what we're talking about as of 2022 is an SSD. Most computers around this time will have standard an SSD type um, uh, hard drive, right? And that's where you'll store your files, your folders, and your programs. And for a more in-depth definition into that, I've provided a wiki link to that as well. And the other thing that we're going to consider today that a computer should have is going to be a operating system. An operating system, for lack of a better term, is the main system or the master system, the master program, or the main program in your computer. And with that, with your operating system, or OS as we may refer to it in, uh, later on, in later and in future uh, uh, endeavors, uh, it's your, like I say, it's your master program, all right? And for more in-depth information about the OS or the operating system, I've provided the wiki link for that definition as well. So you don't need, as an average computer user or as an average user or even a beginner user, you don't need to go that much in depth but as general terms go, you do need to know these basic uh, things when you're buying a computer. All right. And so after that, what you want to do is you want to consider why you want to buy a computer. It'll help you out in deciding whether or not what type of computer you want. Like if you're usually going to be home and you're not going to be going anywhere with it, then you might want to consider a desktop computer. Uh, if you're going to be, um, if you're going to be out and about and working from, you know, like the local uh, bookstore or the uh, an internet cafe or the library or any place downtown, then you might want to consider either a laptop or possibly even a tablet. Okay, it just depends upon your situation. If you're buying, if you're an adult and you're buying the, uh, uh, a computer for your child or for uh, another le relative or a friend or even maybe your uh, your uh, a senior citizen like your parent, your aunt, your uncle, whoever, um, this would be a good guide for learning how to do that too. Um, or maybe you want to buy it. To uh, for for doing a hobby or a project, you might want to buy an extra computer for uh, gaming or video editing, something that may require a lot of um, uh, resources like a powerful um, uh, CPU or processor, or uh, a lot of RAM or memory, system memory. You know that can also sway your decision one way or the other. And there are different types of computers that you might want to consider buying. As we said, mentioned earlier, there's a desktop computer, and that's more or less a computer that you, it's stationary. It sits on your desk. Uh, if you want to see a picture and more definition about that, I provided the wiki link for it. There's also a laptop computer, or as some people in some places call them, a mobile computer. That's a computer that you can sit at your desk or you can go into your living room and use it. Or if you want to go outside and go to your local bookstore, library, over to a friend's house, you can use a laptop. Also, you can use a tablet, um, but you may want to consider if, you're, if you need some type of a computer to do work, you know, like if you need um, a word processor to, to create files, a spreadsheet or anything like that you possibly could use it on a tablet but it may because the screen may be smaller you may want to consider either a desktop or a laptop um, if this is just for your kids because they want to get on YouTube and look at YouTube videos a tablet may be what you want same thing with a smartphone most smartphones today, especially in 2022, 
you basically can call them computers as well because they do basically the same thing as the other as these other three types of computers um, including memory and storage space um, but for for a in-depth definition you can go to the wiki link on that as well so We've already went over some some of the uh, scenarios and examples of what you want to consider when buying a computer, but now that I have it open here, we might as well go over it. So, as an example, if you're an adult and you want to buy a computer for your own personal use and gain, the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to do some research, right? So. If you have no idea, if, if this is your first time buying and purchasing a computer, go to your local store, uh, your local department store. Um, whatever area you're in, if that area, if that area has a, a, a store that sells computers, go to that store, go to the section where they have computers, and I would suggest looking up the hardware that they have on it. Usually it's on display right next to the computer. Um, look at the CPU, the system memory or the RAM, how much storage it has, and the type and consider the type of computer and the computer model. If you can see all that and it's written down, which for most stores they will have some type of a written information on this, I would suggest either taking a pencil and paper and jotting down that information, or if you have your cell phone, uh, take a picture of that information because um, what you're going to do is you're going to take it home. You're not going to purchase the computer today, but look at a few computers, jot down the information or take a picture of it and take it home. Um, but while you're there, you may want to ask a few questions uh, of the salespeople that are around. Um, you'll want to ask, most importantly, um, can they tell you what type of software is on it? Or will they allow you to look at the computer, log into it, and see what type of software it has? You also want to know what type of a warranty it has. Um, you should ask the salespeople um, if there if there's a problem with the computer and you need it repaired. Do you bring it there at the store where you bought it from, or do they recommend a third-party repair shop? should also ask, um, do they include data protection, such as backups and syst of uh, system files and folders, uh, and regular data files and folders? Um, do they provide data protection coverage for that, or is that something you were responsible for? Um, if the store doesn't do that, then the third-party software can, or the third-party repair shop do they recommend a repair shop that may do that? Or uh, does the rip repair shop that they recommend, ask them at the repair shop, do they uh, have uh, data protection coverage? That's going to be very, very important. It doesn't seem like it now, but it's believe me, it's going to be very, very important. Most computers nowadays, they run stable, they run good, but eventually every computer for one reason or another, will stop running, will stop functioning, will run into errors, will run into issues where you may not be able to do whatever it is you want to do with it. In that case, you want to make sure you have good backups. You definitely need good backups. So make sure that you, um, you ask questions about that and consider that when you're buying a computer. All right. Then once you have the comp that information, you, like I say, you don't buy it just then. You're just you're just on the information. Uh, um, you're just in the information phase. So you're just going there. You're asking questions. You're looking at the models that they have. Once you come home, what you want to do is you want to do your own research. If you don't have a computer, then Go over to a friend's house or relative's house and try and use their computer. Um, if you can't do it there, you might be able to find computers at an internet cafe that you can use to do your online research. If you can't do it that way, um, 
you could go online or you could go to the your local library. Most local libraries now have a set of computers that they allow users to sign into and use. Just go to your library and uh, they'll tell you they'll they'll tell you the instructions for how to do that and where. Uh, once you get your once you get online, um, take your favorite browser, whatever that may be. You go online and you want to do some research. Uh, once you go online, you can go to your favorite uh, uh, search engine. For me, it's DuckDuckGo. But then you also want to go to Google. Uh, you want to do both probably because you'll probably get different search results for both, right? And let's say um, I had a, uh, I was looking for a Lenovo T. 470 and then as you can see right there it says specs and then you might want to include PDF right then you hit enter and then what you want to do is you want to look for the PDF with this hardware specifications on that uh, on the computer that you you're looking at or that you're interested in preferably from the site that builds those type of computers and then I would just right click and then right there you have all the information and you want to look at it right the processor that's the same thing as the CPU and you want to look at what processor or CPU comes with that computer right you also want to look at the graphics card the memory chip all that information right there right you want to look at the wireless information smart card information if it's a laptop what type of keyboard it has the information on on um, on different things like the fingerprint reader if it comes with it all that good jazz right also, what you want to try and do is you want to try and look up the maximum amount of memory you can put in that computer, right? For this T470, the maximum memory that I can install and upgrade to is 32 gigabytes, all right? So you want to pay attention to that as well, right? And like I said, you want to look up that PDF you also can look that up on the Google uh, search engine as well, right? You can look that up on there as well, right? The next thing you also want to look at is you want to look up uh, the reviews on that laptop. So you go back to your search engine and you type in the laptop or computer model and then you'll do review, right? You look that information up and you'll look up different reviews. PC Mag uh, is, a, is a pretty good place to look up reviews on different laptops. You can just go to that site and you'll see the information on it and you could just read it right you also can look up a video of that review you just go to your local uh, search engine you type on videos and you'll see a bunch of videos on with a review of that laptop right and you could do the same thing for uh, Google as well as any other uh, search engine. So I would do that and I would look at those and um, that should help you make a real good decision about what type of information, what type of computer and, and all of the things that goes with that review and the specs, right? And then an example too, um, Unlike example one, in example one, you were considering buying a laptop for yourself, your first laptop. In example two, the, the scenario could be many and varied. 
It can be you're buying a laptop for your child, you're buying a laptop for a relative, you're buying a laptop for a friend. You still want to do that, the, uh, the research that we were talking about earlier, um, but there are other, there may, might be other resources that you'd like to consider. Um, you might want to also, in addition to buying a laptop from your local store, you may want to consider buying it from a manufacturer <clears throat> like Dell or HP or even eBay, Amazon, and another good place is Newegg. So you want to um, ask and, 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 and look up that type of information online as well and see what uh, offers and, and opportunities they present when, when buying a computer from one of those places as well. Also, to let you know full disclosure, I do sell laptops, mostly used laptops, because I'm not a manufacturer, I'm just an independent vendor. I usually uh, include a 30-day uh, warranty on the laptop itself. No more than 30 days, but um, I usually sell used laptops, and yeah, I do guarantee them for at least 30 days. Um, I have my my um, my website information in the in the PDF as well. You can just uh, download the PDF free of charge and go to go to my uh, links as they are provided. Okay, so that's basically it. That's um, it's not really difficult. This PDF itself is a five-page uh, PDF. You can use it as a good reference material, but um, that's basically all I would do if it were me for uh, looking at and considering buying a laptop. So I hope this information has helped you today. Um, thank you very much once again for looking at my uh, video. And like I said, if you'd like to download the free PDF guide um, that will include all the links, um, Go ahead and look in the description of this video, and the link will be in that description. So, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys looking at this video. If um, I'm going to include this video among several resources, YouTube and Facebook. Uh, if you are on YouTube, I hope you like and subscribe to this, uh, to this channel, and I hope you like the video. If you are looking at it from uh, Facebook, same thing, uh, go to my, my, if you don't mind, go to my uh, YouTube channel and please like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much. I hope you have a good rest of your day or evening and bye-bye.